All right, let's get right into the video. So first, you want to go to the farm, which is right here on the screen, and you just want to punch me for five minutes. After punching wheat for five minutes, you want to talk to the farmer and give some wheat to the cow or the farmer. I'm not sure which one. And you want to head back to um, the farm merchant, which is located in the hub, to sell your wheat and buy a rookie's hoe. Once you're here, you just want to click on the wheat and just sell it. Um, you can buy it back like this, you can just sell it like that, and you can sell your seeds too, it doesn't really make that much money, but it's enough to buy the rookie's hoe and get you to the barn, which, um, you can farm potatoes and carrots there, which gives you more farming XP, which is right here. After talking to the farmhand, you want to farm a few stacks of wheat so you can get some money. Um, full inventory, almost a full inventory would work, and it's really simple. And I'm gonna sell them for money. Now we're gonna head to the mine where we can order pickaxe now which is this way and you want to go to the mining merchant and buy a gold pickaxe so you can mine a bunch of coal this is not required you can just create your own pickaxe by just buying your iron but like you do it this way as well Then you want to talk to the blacksmith, which will give you a quest to mine 10 coal for a free reforge, which is really good too for starting out. Here I'm going to mine 10 coal and head to the deep caverns. And once you have that, you want to head to the deep cavern, which is right here. Once you're here, you want to talk to Rusty and uh, and the Lazy Miner, which will um, have a quest for you to get a pickaxe. It's right here. This pickaxe can mine iron, gold, and um, coal with a smelting touch. Just want to head over here, follow me. And once you're here, you collect the big axe by right clicking it. You don't have to have your open hand. And you should grind here until you get like mining five, which then you can go to. Um, actually, no, the deep caverns. This is the gold mine. Uh, before you do that, you want to go to um, to 
rescue the janitor and apply telekinesis there. Head back up and go up the stairs and turn her right and you'll see Rusty the Janitor and this is why we collected a bunch of wheat earlier to for money. Um, we needed it to get the materials for this. Now apply telekinesis, this will make sure that no one steals your ores. There we go, I just got mining 5, now we want to head to the deep caverns. Which we should go up here. Jump on the slime pad and you'll head to the deep caverns. Um, when you get there, you want to talk to the lift operator so you can get the quest to unlock all of them. the floors. He's right over there. Just want to follow me. If you don't do this, you might not get the quest, I'm not sure, and now you want to head back and follow me. Once you're here, you want to jump down here, and uh, you want to basically fall in the void to unlock all of the, the layers. Um, you don't really want to jump or else you might touch the lava and you just want to fall down. Don't jump there and just fall down in this column. Once you've unlocked all of them, um, what you want to do is go to the Lapis Quarry. I think this is the most safe to get more mining XP. And you just want to talk to Lift Operator, make sure you have all of them unlocked. Next we'll head to the forging section which um, you should follow me, it's also on the map which I have posted. Go here and to the right and you, you also want to get the rogue sword if you haven't already. Oh, Jamie's right there and you just want to steal the sword from this villager. And once you have it, you can right click it for a speed boost. And once you're here in the forging section, the forest, you want to talk to the lumberjack. And he'll give you a sweet axe once you punch 10 wood. I mean, you can craft your own gold axe once you've gotten a piece of wood. So, like this, and just craft a gold axe.
Once you collected that 10 wood, you want to head back here and collect the sweet axe, and then you can sell it. Um, this is just for more money. And once you have taken it, you can sell it, or you can keep it if you want to get those apples. Because it has a chance of dropping apples. And then after, you want to head to Birch Park, which is right over here. Past this house to the left and keep on following this path uh, you want to get to foraging four um, because we'll be getting the jungle axe later after you get foraging four you want to do slash for a pub and you want to sell your stuff to a merchant this then you want to head to the auction house take a um, left after you get to that community center and you want to talk to the auction master After he's done talking, you want to click on him again and you want to search up Jungle Axe in the Auctions Browser. Like this, press the sign and search up Jungle. Press Done. And you'll see a bunch of travel scrolls. This is not where you're supposed to find it. You want to go to Weapons and you want to find a Jungle Axe. Best way you can do this is by going to options and going to ending soon so you can snipe one. This one's too expensive. This one's pretty good. And I found one for 2400 because people keep bidding on the ones that are too cheap. And I'm gonna go back to forging. After doing that, I go back to the auction, I collect the auction like this, go to view bids, and click on the jungle axe. And press collect auction. Once you have done that, you can go back to forging. Once you're forging 7 after this, you can head back to the bazaar and you can unlock it. Once you're here, you can click on bazaar agent and you can finally unlock it. 